Hey guys, a few days ago I did a video on creating responsive videos using simple CSS. Here's the example here. You can check out that video for the details. Essentially, well, this is a code right here. Anyway, you can find the video on the YouTube channel. It's not a problem. Somebody asked me a question in the comments with regards to that. He said, uh, if there's a heading between two videos or a paragraph, the video will overlap the text uh, as you define the iframe position absolute. So let me go to the code. So I have my iframe, which is inside of div class, which I tag responsive dash container. And you see, sure enough, the iframe here has been set to position absolute. Now, typically, this would cause this container to be uh, positioned absolutely to the root of the entire document. But because it's inside of a container, in this case, the div, right? The iframe is inside of this big div here, well, this div. And because this div is tagged, well, it's positioned relative, it changes the behavior of absolutely positioned elements. Element is just a nerd word for tag. So all of a sudden, the way this iframe will behave, it will it will behave so that it uh, it considers the parent tag, in this case, this tag here, this uh, this div here, it will consider that the uh, the starting point in terms of determining absolute position rather than the whole body of the page. I hope that makes sense. So he was concerned that because I set the iframe to position absolute, he said, uh, he said the video will overlap on the text as you have defined the iframe position absolute. So here we go. I put some text in between my two responsive videos where the iframes are set to absolute. Let's see what happens. No, it does not overlap because as I just said, when you have an absolutely positioned element, fancy word nerd for tag, inside another element, in this case, the element is the div tag here. When the div tag, when the container or the parent element is set to relative, the behavior of absolutely positioned sub elements or children elements change. So if this is confusing to you, well, join the pack, just try to think about it, play with it. So essentially keep that in mind, the key to all of this, if you put an absolutely positioned element inside a relatively positioned element, this absolutely positioned element will consider this parent element to be the root of its document, if you will. It will change the behavior of the way an absolutely positioned element would typically behave. So uh, there you go.